Hi. Hey. So. Word. Harlequin frogs. Uh, I'm Eric. I did my project on harlequin frogs. And they look like this. Or like this. Or like this. And they live here. Yeah, so um, harlequin frogs are just pretty gangster. Um, like me. Um, yeah. My gangster name is Apple Crisp. Um, so if you get in my face, I might be all like, Apple Crisp! What? What a joke! I'm Apple Crisp! Um, so if that happens, um, watch out. So now, I'm going to demonstrate for you the different kinds of behavior that are associated with harlequin frogs. So hopefully we have fun. Um, what you just saw was um, a courtship ritual done by harlequin frogs. Um, it's called forelimb and foot wagging. Yeah. Also, sometimes, um, as a courtship ritual, <laughs> um, the females will squash the males and force them to mate. So, uh, so I'll demonstrate that. Um, okay, um, if this was, this was the male, and I was, and I was the female, get out of my house! Have my children. Um, I think that this behavior probably developed because the females feel the need to have children. But the dancing, I'm not so sure there's any reason for that. So here's the thought. If a male and female frog split up, how much does child support cost for 2,000 kids? The next behavior I'm going to talk about is the defensive behaviors. So, yeah! So, um, harlequin frogs, for defense, have a lot of toxins that excrete from their skin to make them taste bad and or kill or seriously harm any predators that attack them. I will demonstrate this. This time, um, this will be the frog, and I will be the predator attacking the frog. Oh! Oh, God! Uh, uh, oh! I think that's a pretty accurate um, portrayal of how, th how it happens in the wild. This behavior developed because um, I think that frogs 
don't have very good defenses. So if they got eaten, they just killed whatever. Like a last minute, ha <laughs> ha, gotcha! You know, on the, um, on the predator. Also, harlequin frogs have really bright colors to warn away predators that they do have these toxins. So, to demonstrate that, um, what that did was that just warned all the people, um, especially people who want to hurt me, that um, I'm Apple Crisp, uh, and I could probably shank them if they, if, if harm, harm came towards me, um, in a harmful way. Harlequin frogs don't migrate. As far as territorial behavior, um, I already, I already discussed with you how the females treat the males when they enter their territory. Get out of my house! But, um, um, the males are surprisingly nice to each other, like these two cats. Also, harlequin frogs have a really good navigational system in their uh, minds, and they can always return to the same spot after they were captured. So... Um, <laughs> there's no place like home! <laughs> Harlequin frogs also, um, the areas that they live in are wet. Well, they don't live in the water. They live in what's called a splash zone. <gasps> Woo! <a> splash! <laughs> the splash zone is an area like at the bottom of a waterfall where the water is splashing so they can stay wet but they don't have to get in a pond. As far as foraging goes, harlequin frogs eat small arthropods. Who can tell me what an arthropod is? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm on a video and I can't even hear you. <laughs> Burn! So harlequin frogs have a very interesting parental behavior, and it's because they're obligate egg feeders. What that means is, after the babies are born, the mother goes and eats food and then lays unfertilized eggs, which the babies feed on. Ugh. To demonstrate this, um, I don't really know how to lay an egg. Don't ask me. <laughs> it was ugly when I tried. So I will demonstrate from up here um, about laying an egg. <laughs> oh, <laughs> an egg! So that was all about harlequin frog behavior. It was a blast. Apple Chris, up out of here!